So now we have um, some time before the end for general questions. Um, so if you have any general questions not related to each of the sites or we've missed out your question on any particular site, this is your opportunity now. Um, and I, just also to draw your attention to the fact that we will be finishing at half past seven. Um, I know that a number of you sent in an advanced questions related to the move of the water treatment plant. Um, and I have a question, please, can you include an item regarding the proposed move of the water treatment plant? Um, I have a question here. Um, do we want to take this one, uh, Chris? Yes, we can do. Um, that's how are Hill and Marshall responding to the Anglian water selection of site three, Honey Hill for the sewage works relocation? Um, I don't know if Henry or Chris would like to comment on that at this stage. If you have anything, any comments to make? Any really that we're obviously aware of it um, in terms of preferred site, um, and we'll be keeping a close eye in terms of kind of you know the the possible impacts that has for Marley and and if there's any mitigation needed. We have a couple more questions coming in now, Councillor Dalton. Yes. Are you happy if I read? Yes, yes, please, Chris. Uh, so the first one, um, uh, someone who's concerned about residents at Marley not having access to health provisions. Is there anything you'd like to say there, Henry or Chris? Uh, Chris, is there any more context to the question? Uh, apologies, I'm not quite following. No, uh, that's the question as it's written, I'm afraid. So I don't know. If, do, you, do, you have, do you know where residents in Marley would be accessing health? Uh, doctors, surgeries, etc. Um, uh, I tell you off the top of my head, Chris. Okay, um, that's fine. We can certainly look at that. But no apologies. Okay. Just looking. Okay. Um, um, and um, could I just mention as well that we have had, as I said at the very beginning, um, we've had a question concerning. Um, covering the move of the water treatment plant um, in this forum. It's not, it wasn't down on the agenda, but I know it's an area of particular interest to many of those on the call. Um, and it, one of the questions from Jill Griffith, um, it, that it hugely impacts some of the developments already listed in the agenda. Um, and I know that Karen Barkley is on the call, whether you wanted to pick up on that, Karen. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Councillor Daunton. Yes, I'm Karen Barclay from Anglin Water. And uh, just say in response to that question, thank you very much. We've, we have carefully considered both planned and uh, promoted developments um, uh, as part of the project to date. And we remain in close contact with um, planning authorities um, across the area and developers, including Marshall Group, who have spoken um, about our, our consultation and their input into it this evening. Um, and we'll continue that dialogue and make sure that we are gathering um, uh, their input into our proposals as they, as they de develop forward into the more detailed design and indeed um, any opportunities where there are to work together. So um, yes, very, very conscious of, of both planned and promoted developments. Um, thank you, Karen. I know we have another question about the water treatment plant, but I think um, my colleagues from GCP and from County Transport wanted to respond to, I think it was Claire, um, the cycle path, uh, cycle path by David Lloyd. I think that was Claire, um, Claire Castle's question. Is that David Allett or Joe Baker? Hi, it's Joe Baker here. Um, Hi, Joe. Happy to pick up that question. This, this was dealing with the um, cycle path and I think it was connected with the railway bridge as I understand yes. it. Um, so as hopefully you're aware, the Fullbourne Greenway project um, is intending to replace the existing railway bridge and our aspiration is to put in a new bridge which will be wider and also to widen the approaches and reduce the incline to make it more accessible and easier to be used by cyclists and other road users. We've done a feasibility study and there has been preliminary discussions with Network Rail who obviously own the existing bridge and, and they, they were positive. I'd, in terms of delivery we are 
about to move forward, as I think people will be aware, with um, the, this Greenway and a number of the other Greenway projects, um, that we will be then working more closely with Network Rail in terms of looking at timing and details. Obviously, it is a bridge across a live railway, so we'll need to um, think about how, how works are undertaken in a way that Network Rail are happy with. Um, but certainly, we'd be very happy to come back to this forum again with a bit more detail once we've, we've got further information. And it's worth noting there are other Greenway projects um, heading into the eastern part of Cambridge. And again, we'd be happy to provide more information about them at a subsequent meeting of, of, of this grouping. And Joe, Joe, if I can just add to that as well, obviously our, our land and, and application proposals uh, to the northern bit of the lakes um, uh, interacts with that bridge element probably quite closely. And so as part of our TA, we're, we're obviously uh, envisaging as part of the Fulborn Greenway that those works coming forward uh, and, and if there's land that's required for that and or some kind of contribution then uh, we've made allowance for that through our TA work so uh, no doubt we can speak about that as well. I, th I, th I think that would be very helpful I noted the other question about the snaky path and I think the, the same applies there that's yeah. also linked in with the discussions on the Fullbourne Greenway so yes a, an offline discussion on that in due yeah. course I'm sure would be very helpful thank you. Mm. Chair, we do have a further question for yeah. Anderson's, if yes, I you. can read that one out. Um, so could Anderson um, uh, explain a little more clearly when the next consultations and discussions about the lakes will take place? Um, how will people be informed? And are there any thoughts yet about how trespassing and antisocial behaviour might be reduced this year? Uh, it sounds as if long term solutions will depend on the commercial development application, which will presumably take some time. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to answer that. Um, so we are now moving into uh, the submission of a planning application. Clearly, that comes with a public consultation. Um, we remain open to discussion uh, with residents at all times, uh, really. Um, I know that uh, the, the, uh, the person who's asked the question has got my details, so uh, she won't uh, have any sort of um, uh, qualms about contacting me. Um, the lakes this year are going to be managed by Anderson so we had a management uh, agreement in place with a, a contractor who was looking after the lakes um, given the severity of trespass and antisocial behavior last year we've taken the, the decision uh, to move that in-house um, and so we will be dealing with that ourselves that includes the regular fixing of perimeter fences to uh, stop uh, trespassers um, replacing life boys picking up litter and all of the usual stuff, but really ramping it up this year to make sure that um, that we prevent it as much as we possibly can. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Chris, Chris Carter, could I just come in there? Um, I understand that Prue Rayner uh, would like to answer one of the questions, is that correct? Prue, are you there? Hi, yes, I'm Prue, I'm from Anglian Learning. Um, I just I, I wanted to respond to the the it's not really on my remit Henry um, from Hill, but I do I do know there is a significant um, amount of community development in the Mali that may well and community buildings that are being provided around the market space that the school fronts onto, which I imagine may well include things like doctor surgeries etc. Okay, thank you. Um, and we're almost going to a close now, but I just did want to um, uh, mention that Laurie Wolfenden um, from Fendage and sent in a question about the Northeast Cambridge Area Action Plan and the move of the water treatment plant. It's quite a, a, a long question. It was put down in the chat, I think, the first question of all. I don't know if we can go back to that, whether we can answer that now or take it away um, and give a written answer, Chris. Could we? I think we'll need to take that away, Chair. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I just wanted to reassure Laurie that um, it has been seen and heard um, and there will be an answer. Um, do we have any more questions? Uh, no more questions. A couple of comments uh, from, from uh, contributors, but uh, no questions, Chair. Fine, thank you. Um, so if there are no more questions, I think I'm going to draw this forum to a close um, with... Um, I'm just saying that um, a, a comment from Anglian Water needs to involve communities. We, we're very, very well aware of that. And I'm sure that Karen Barclay, who is here on the call, is very well aware of that, aren't you, Karen? 
I am indeed. Um, thank you, Councillor Lundon. And, and just to say that we are, as well as all of our other community um, uh, and communication channels that are open, we will be commencing our own um, community forum, inviting members of the parish councils um, in and around the proposed site to, to take part in that. So there'll be lots of opportunities going forwards. Yeah, fine, thank you. Um, so I'm going to draw this to a close now, um, but not before I thank all the presenters and all of those who've come along to um, ask questions and to listen and to contribute, um, but very specially to our officer colleagues here, um, Robin Kerrigan, uh, Ryan Curtsy and Louise Lord, who've been keeping the show on the road and to my um, planning councillor colleague, uh, Chris Carter, for helping to keep us on track. Um, you'll, I hope that you will all receive information about the next forum, which, as I said earlier, uh, we think we should hold in a, the not too distant future, um, probably sometime in, in June, early July. Um, and if you want to attend that, you want to receive information about it, please do get in touch with us, go to the web page and email us um, so you can keep up to date with everything that's going on. Um, thank you. Well, Councillor Daun yes. Council Daunton, sorry, can I just butt in and say, as Councillor Daunton mentioned at the beginning, this is the first time we've run the forum online. We will be um, popping up a very brief, very short, quick to answer survey at the end of the webinar. And we'd, we'd be really grateful if you could send us any feedback. Any thanks. Okay, thanks, Louise. Um, so thank you to everyone and um, good night and hope to see you at the next forum. <laughs>